So you want to main Aurelian soul? Well, do you like stars? Do you like dragons? Do you like being saucy? Do you like strange mechanics? And do you like dead old champion designs? Then Aurelian soul, the star forger, is for you. Uh, Ricky, we gotta carry this, man. I'm, you and I'm, me, man. I have the most deaths. Oh. <laughs> because right, because this 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 man. this this Lee Wait, Sin have you have the most this deaths. Lee Sin has ganked me every uh, time. And you can't do anything against Lee Sin Annie as an Aurelian I know, soul. I, I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm gonna take Dragon, that's a good idea. Why, man? You just gotta, you gotta use your abilities. Which ones? <laughs> so lore-wise, Aurelian soul is basically God. Like, it says he was, quote, born in the first breath of creation, unquote. That, he's basically God. So he wandered the vast nothingness of space, making stars because he basically enjoyed it. He wanted to connect with another race he eventually deemed worthy in the galaxy and went to the Targonians, who provided him with a gift, a crown of star gems. But this was no gift. It was something like a magical leash that forced Aurelian Soul to do their bidding, and every time he fought against it, a star of his own would be destroyed. But now the Targonians are facing an inner struggle and their power is weakened, so Aurelian Soul has come back to Runeterra and boy is he fucking pissed. In game, Aurelian Soul is an odd champion, about as odd as the star creating sassy ass dragon would be. He has a variety of abilities that do a variety of things, but none are really that flashy. You see, Aurelian Soul is a difficult champion to understand and learn, but unlike champions like Azir or Lee Sin, learning him doesn't give you extremely flashy plays. Playing well with Aurelian Soul doesn't look cool or seem impressive in a montage reel or anything of that nature. I mean, you will certainly be effective in the game, he's definitely a champion that can hold his own, but it will still just look strange. One of the things he definitely excels at is the consistent damage and zone control. When you have a massive dragon with literal stars circling him, you tend to keep your distance in teamfights. Which, speaking of, Riot needs to balance their lore a little bit. The cosmic star-creating dragon that can birth entire stars and snap a finger, born as one of the first ever living things with the ability to crush planets if he feels like it, the literal god dragon can get his ass fucking demolished by a stubby ass rat with a blow dart. What? So Aurelian's passive is a permanent Diana W. Three stars orbit Aurelian's soul. They deal damage to everything they hit, and the damage is based on level and your AP scaling. They apply spell effects, and they execute minions below 25 health. Any ability inhibiting CC stops the stars, and here's some spinning star math. Honestly, the stars fuck up my farming more than they actually help. You'd think that they would help you kill minions and stuff, but no, honestly, this makes CSing a bit of a challenge if you don't know how to use them right, and you're always pushing the wave, too. Also, you can't hide in bushes because you have three large star bodies orbiting you, obviously. You know, you're not like Karthus, who has a terrible auto attack and relies on farming with his Q. You're not like, I have to farm with my stars only. No, your auto attack is actually pretty good. And that's great, but it's just the stars are so underwhelming and they deal so little damage early game that you might as well just be better off auto attacking. So his Q is a lane size stun. Fires out an AoE stun, grants 10% movement speed, and upon reactivation it explodes, stuns enemies, and deals magic damage. It will auto-explode at Aurelian Soul's outer limit and grows when traveling with it. And here's some excessively large Q math. His Q is actually pretty fun to use, but also horrendously inconsistent. Not the ability itself, but the fact that this is your engage tool. Unless you're nurturing the star from base with home guards, it can be pretty damn easy to just walk out of the way, and then boom, you've missed it. It can get really gnarly when you come in for a gank with this massive star incoming in lane, but you basically have to point blank this shit to hit it. And that's kind of a problem when you're playing Aurelian Soul. Aurelian's W is faster, stronger, harder, star. You passively increase your star's base damage. Activating it pushes stars to the outer limit, and it deals 150% damage and drains mana per second. Here's some speedy star math. This is the skill that revolves, heh, <laughs> revolves, around his passive and is actually what makes it useful. The stars on their own are pretty meh, but this is the way you make the stars not meh, and that's about it. His E is a way worse Bardi. You passively gain escape velocity to 100 stacks. You get increased movement speed when moving. Moving in a line means more movement speed. Turns will consume part of the movement speed depending on how sharp the turns are. Damage consumes it all. At 100 stacks, you can activate to fly into the air. You go over all terrain, you can see over all terrain, and you pull in your passive stars and ignore unit collision. Taking any damage will make him land, and here's some flying math. This is easily his worst ability. It is confusing, it is inconsistent, and honestly not that useful. The straight line movement speed, I guess, 
helps you get to lane and run away, but turns off if you take damage. It just serves like no purpose besides doing some crazy ass gank with your Q in the air and helping nurture your Q for a long distance, but it's just so subjective and specific and why? Finally, his ultimate is dead Fusrodob memes. Oh, nope. Good job, guys. <gasps> He's in the turret range. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh, the big bounce, bounce around! Him, holy shit. We ping pong that ass so hard. Oh my goodness. God bless, dude. God bless. The long range line skill shop deals high magic damage, slows enemies hit, and knocks targets to his outer limit. And here's some yelling math. This skill is pretty awesome because it's a disengage, but can also be a really good insect tool if you're feeling ballsy as fuck. Honestly though, it does a ton of damage, and the range is extremely long. Like, people underestimate this all the time. They always think they're gonna get away, or you're gonna only use it for a disengage, but then you get off some cheeky breaky snipes, and then they're dead, and they have a black screen, and you're sitting there like, ha. So skill max, I go W, Q, E. W first because it's your bread and butter, Q second because it's just the bread without the butter, and E last because there's no bread or butter, it's just sadness. But how do I play Aurelian Soul? Boop. 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 Aurelian Soul is a space dragon, and are space dragons a normal occurrence? No, so should he have a normal playstyle or kit? I guess not. He's an exceptionally odd champion, and a decently hard champion as well. But he isn't the fun kind of hard, where not only is he difficult, but he also has a massive skill ceiling to make a bunch of flashy plays like a Zero Lee Sin. No. This is Aurelian Soul. Your playmaking literally comes from standing a certain distance away from the enemy and occasionally yelling at them. You don't look cool playing Aurelian Soul. I mean, he does look cool. I mean, look at him. He's a space dragon. But nothing you do is going to show up on the most amazing outplay of the century feeds. Besides this right here. That being said, he isn't actually that bad of a champion. Why they just recently nerfed him, I have no fucking idea, but he can do some good stuff. Your passive is kind of a nuisance, but it can help you get some CS if you might miss them because of your auto attacks. Your Q can be absolutely hilarious sometimes, just due to the sheer size, even though the damage barely changes at all. Your W is honestly your big thing, because when you expand those stars in your hard fed late game, they just crush enemy health bars when they get booped on three times, and that basically equals a kill. Your E is totally stupid, so whatever, but your Dragon's Roar, Breath, Thing, Ultimate is amazingly fun. You just shout at people and they die, you yell at them, you die, you scream at them and you die, you just yell things and then they die, it's great. But the weird thing is what you do in team fights, because you basically make this circle that people are really scared to go near, but when they enter, you're basically boned. In fact, a lot of enemy champions bone you once they get in your circle. Melee assassins will especially fuck you up because you have the sphere of influence around you that enemies are spooked of. Once they get inside, the only way to hurt them is to deactivate your W, which makes your stars shitty again and, well, you generally die because Lee Sin is camping your dragon dildo dick off and you're more tilted than IMT at Spring Finals. And with that said, let's move on to making big dick plays. Early game, you just gotta shove stars at your enemies' asses. It's pretty simple. Early harass is pretty good with your W, just watch your mana costs and also make sure you don't push the wave too much because you've got those constantly orbiting stars doing damage, that's basically it. For mid game you need to use those stars to help contest objectives and push lanes at all the right points. You won't get blown up too quickly, but you will have people on your ass a lot if you aren't careful. Act as this kind of spooky don't go in here zone for your team and if skirmishes break out you might be able to get some consistent damage off of the stars. You can also gank lanes using your E, just make sure if you're going for the massive flying Q stun you put it in a spot that can't easily move away from. Late game, your stars will actually be doing some crazy amounts of damage with your W on. Every boop on an enemy will really, really hurt them, but you need extended team fights to be successful with it. You're also normally pretty squishy, so don't ult unless you're going for a disengage or you want to snipe a low health enemy. You're probably not going to get any crazy Q stuns, but that won't matter too much since the stars already do so much damage. Building Aurelian Soul is very based on preference. I personally take these runes, these masteries, and this build basically. I honestly don't know the optimal build for Aurelian Soul, but you really only need the Crystal Scepter and you're solid. Champions that counter Aurelian Soul are those who get on his dragon dick easily, so Yasuo Zed and Lee Sin, because... Well, yeah. The skin we have is Ashen One Aurelian Skull. It's a Dark Souls reference. And finally, before I go, here are the usual Aurelian Soul clips. Enjoy. You know, like, Annie is down any summoner spells? 
Luke, in the hell was that? Nothing happened! Bye, Ricky. Nah, he's got heal. Oh, the turn. turn oh, my God. Oh, screw you, dude! <laughs> screw you, dude! It was the most unnecessary I saw you, shit. Saw you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. have some your heal. Oh my god. Did you jump over the hook? Yeah. I play a Ziggs, dude. I know what to do. I'm not So scared. like if you launched straight up and he threw the hook, it wouldn't hit you because you're literally how's, a bit. How's how's that I'm chase going over there, uh, Ricky? Shut up. <laughs> it's a real difficult time, man. <laughs> you look like you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get fucking grabbed, dude. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I got grabbed. Just don't get grabbed. What is wrong with that? God fucking damn it! Alright, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my Slay One Main Aurelian Soul video. If this guy got you to challenge her, please like and subscribe. And if you want to watch any of my other content or witness some cringe tastic Twitch streams, all my social media is in the description. My name is Brick Yorkaday, and please don't fuck up my rates games. Bye-bye.